This video is intended to get you started and covers the bare minimum you need to do to post your first gallery. When setting up a hosted gallery, you first need to have package sets available. Make sure these sets are correct and do not contain items that do not make sense online. For example, do not include a not too late to order insert. To create package sets, open the Manage menu and click Package Definitions. Now, select Create a new package set from the menu. Give the set a name that makes sense to you and accurately identifies it. Next, add the desired items to your package. Set the retail price at a value higher than the base price for the items, then click the Save button to create the package. You can add as many package sets as you would like. To create an order, click the Create a New Order button. Now give the order a name similar to what you will name the gallery, then select the school from the drop-down. Click the Configure button to move on to the next step, selecting the package set. It does not need to match the set you are going to offer online. For hosting, select the Miller's Hosting option. Let's move on to Marketplace Setup. Since this studio has not used pre-order or hosting before, we will go through the initial setup process. If you already set up your account, you can skip this step. If no Marketplace account is found for your studio, you will see this prompt. Click the Setup button to get started. Fill out the information on this page. Be sure the email address entered here is monitored. The system uses this to send you notifications. When finished, click the Submit button. Now you can log in using your new credentials. You will need to visit the Studio Settings area to check the studio information and connect to your Stripe account. Here, you can add your studio logo and edit the name and contact information for your account. If you need to set up a Stripe account, click the information icon next to the payment configuration heading, then visit this link. Stripe will walk you through the process of creating an account. Once your Stripe account is created, return to the studio settings page. Now click the connect with Stripe button, enter the necessary information and complete the connection. If the connection to Stripe was successful, you will now see a Disconnect Stripe button at the top of the screen. Now you can finish setting up your account. If desired, you can change the URL that points customers to your galleries and events. When you're finished, save the changes. Back in RS Plus, give the gallery a name, assign a package set, choose to password protect each subject, and if cropping in the build step, choose to pass crop settings. Batch order settings will be covered in a separate video. Skip the Prints, Logos, and Service Items options. Now import subject data. Find the CSV file on your computer, select it, and then click the Import button to add your subject data. Next we need to assign groups. If you are offering group images, set them up here. Choose the field to group subjects by, then find the group images and drag and drop them into the correct group. There is a separate video in the Help menu entitled Group Management Page if you are unfamiliar with this process. We will skip the pre-order step. Click Build to start adding subject images. Click the Browse for Images button, then select the folder from your computer. These are added in the same manner as a standard print job. Since individual password protection was chosen, the value in the Event Code field will be used by your customers to access their image. Review each image and adjust the crop if necessary then save each record. Now that we are done adding images, we will review and submit the order. Once this job is uploaded to the Millers, any service such as Green Screen Knockout that is required will be completed and the job will be uploaded to the site. You should receive an email when the gallery is ready to publish. At that time, you can go to the site and look at your new gallery. To access your marketplace, load the job that you created in Remote Suite Plus, click on the Configure tab, and select Hosting. Click on the Studio Management URL to go to your Marketplace account. On the Marketplace login page, enter your login information and head into your account. 
This is the studio landing page. Click on Hosted Galleries in the left menu to find the gallery you just created. Now you're seeing the details for the gallery on the overview page. Notice the status is not published. Before publishing this gallery, it's best to check the settings area to ensure everything is correct. The advanced options in gallery settings are covered in our Customize the User Experience tutorial. You'll also want to check the packages and make sure they are correct, and then verify the subject data and make any corrections or additions that are necessary. Now you're ready to publish. Click on the Settings button, toggle on the Published button, and click Save. The gallery is now available for customers to place orders. Go back to the Overview page, copy the URL, and share it with your customers. You can use the Promotions area to send an email to your customers about this gallery. For additional information on the Promotions tool, see the Coupon Code and Promotions Tutorial video. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Check out our other video tutorials to learn more about hosted galleries and prepay events using Miller's Marketplace.